supporting genocide. Barack Obama, end these times. You're supporting genocide. Barack Obama, end these times. You're supporting genocide. Barack Obama, end these times. You're supporting genocide. Um, as many 
as many as we, as many people as we can get would be wonderful uh, to have a dialogue and, and figure out ways to address address this issue. I didn't plan to do this, but I feel I should. Um, my name is David Sperber, and I say salam alaikum to everybody. Um, and I'm another Jewish voice for any yeah, I'm, I'm a, another Jewish voice for peace. Um, as, uh, as, a, as a Jewish person and as a, a physician, I'm also a doctor, um, I, I feel impelled and compelled to uh, stand up for what's right. And um, I, I wish that uh, more Jews in this country uh, share this point of view. Uh, unfortunately, as I think everybody knows, that uh, most uh, American Jews are uh, rather blind when it comes to this issue. And for all sorts of reasons, our politicians are uh, very influenced by that. And uh, so our politicians are blind also. But I think that um, those of us who, who know in our hearts that this is a, a tragedy, what's happening now in Gaza. Uh, we have to stand up and say so and hope that others listen. So I, I'm so happy that, uh, that there are this group of us here in Rochester. Uh, we're small, but obviously we care. Um, I'm talking about everybody. And, uh, and this is what we need to do is join, join forces and um, stand together as Palestinians, as Americans, as Jewish people, um, because it's not about being Palestinian or Jewish, it's about being humans who want to do the right thing for other humans. I'm from Rochester, I'm a Muslim. Thank you for the, all the Jewish community over here who joined us and give this speech and two feelings about this Palestine and I'm a big supporter of Palestine and the Pakistani national, okay? And uh, I hope I, this thing is going to be in pretty soon. There's no more killings. And if any brother and sister is getting killed, then I feel like if my kids are getting killed. So please feel free to ask any questions you want to ask and then I can support all the way to the end to the Palestine Liberation Organization and Palestinian, Palestinian people. And if I, if I can do anything for them, I can do it. And again, thanks to the Jewish people who came down and gave their speech and then support us. Uh, I, I look forward in the future for these same people to coming down and more and more people coming down with this natural feeling inside their hearts. What they could go through, nobody knows. The Holocaust was a very bad thing. Now they're feeling again what's going on in Palestine. Please join us next time and support us so this congressman and the president of the United States change their mind to help Israel anymore. I hope they can do this thing and we need to get something done in this country so there's no borders in Palestine anymore. May Allah bless everybody. Yesterday, I got an email from Shadi, and it was a reminder of something that I had been intending to do but was feeling so helpless, which is really not like me, that I hadn't done it yet. So today I called the White House 9, and you all know that that's an easy thing to do. And my message to Obama is no more military aid to Israel until they end the occupation and end the blockade. And I think that we need to be strong and consistent on that point. End the blockade, end the occupation. That is the only thing that is going to bring real peace. Okay, just going to be brief, but I do uh, want to thank everyone for their support. Um, basically, um, we came together as one, and what we need to do, we need to educate people. Because I think the perception of Palestinians is that we're terrorists, we're monsters, and really we're, we're the victims here. Um, but again, the media is biased, as we all know. 
Uh, so it's our responsibility, it's our duty to be the voice for the people that are no longer with us, that are fighting. And we can't let their death go um, for nothing, basically. Uh, you know, and, and again, um, thank everyone for coming, and you guys are wonderful people. We are good people, and together, hopefully, we're with our voice, and we can uh, change the perception of us. Thank you.